I heard you thought my show was in Chicago. <laughs> you, I'm right over here. You made it to me. I did. Look, I found you on social you media. I followed you on all And I was like, look, this is what we need to be. And <laughs> it's crazy because there was a story on the front page of the Chicago Tribune, and the producer reached out and said, hey, we saw the story. We'd love to have you on the Jennifer Hudson show. Now, <gasps> I was like, what? Yes. 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 So yes. that was pretty amazing. Well, we're happy to have you here. Tell everyone what the Art of Confidence project is. It is a nonprofit that I started to empower children of color, help them restore their confidence. Um, it's so many children out here in America that just, they're going through so much emotionally. Yes. And from racial discrimination, from hair discrimination, to children that have been bullied or children that may have been disfigured. And we just live in a world where everyone has this picture of what our children should look like mm -hmm. or what people should look like. And I'm just there to show them the beauty of who they are and what they can be and not have to just deal with what society tells them that they have to be. I love that so much. You photograph kids with high profile stories, including Jet Hawkins. Tell us more about his story. Well, this was a child that was literally in school and was told that because of his hair, they didn't want to keep him in class, that he couldn't be there. And this is a predominantly black school. And so, oh yeah, that's Jet. And here, here's the thing about that is that we have too many rules that are in place in these schools wow. that they really start cultivating these children to be a certain way. For instance, like Marion, one of the first children that started the project, she had red streaks in her hair, and they said, oh, you can't do school photos. And we know sometimes school photos are anyway, right? So... <laughs> right. <laughs> I was like, all right, don't worry about it. I was like, so I drove out to Michigan, and I said, I'm going to give you this amazing photo shoot, which is what we did. And the photo just went insane. It went viral. And... From that was how my Art of Confidence was actually birthed from the actual program. Wow. And thank you. But what I've learned also is that the rules that are put in place in these schools systematically keep our children in a certain place. And the reason why I say that is because if you look at how they tell children, okay, girls, you got to wear your hair straight. Right. Uh, wear a natural color tone. So for a Caucasian child, they can do blonde, all these different colors because that's natural to them. But when a black child does it, they're like, oh no, this isn't natural for you. So the rules don't apply. And so now you have them grow up and they become women in the workplace. And guess what? Most women, when they go to job interviews, what do they do? They straighten their hair. Yeah. They don't wear it curly because they're worried about the perception, but that's taught early on. So if we can get into these children now and show them that they are beautiful with their beautiful, kinky, curly yes. hair, with their dread, yes. then we're gonna make this world a better place. And that's the goal. You're doing that. That is the goal. Jermaine, I think you are doing something very special. Thank you. We have a few folks who recorded a message for you. Okay. So take a look. Hi, my name is Michael. I got kicked out of school because of my hair. When I got kicked out of school, I felt mad, upset. When I took the photos, I felt good, happy, excited. Thank you, Jermaine. Knowing that Michael was the first young man that Jermaine had highlighted was truly an honor. And we both would like to just tell him thank you for giving my grandson hope. How does that make you feel seeing the message? Uh, yeah, um, feels I said I wasn't gonna cry. You weren't gonna, I got tissue for you. I got, uh, it's all right. It's tears of joy. Yes, um, it feels good because, um, when you have someone like Tink, which is Michael, you know, four years old at the time when they told him, you're not supposed to have long hair, that's for girls. And in order for you to go to school, you have to either cut your hair braided or identify as being transgender, transitioning to being, yes. This is what children- A four-year-old? A four-year-old in Texas. And so much when I went down there and we did that story for Tink, um, his, his grandmother, because of the way we interacted, he ended up having PTSD, uh, anxiety from the situation what took place. They even mm. took his mother, his grandmother to jail from this situation and the one thing that came out of that was our relationship to where he felt like he had someone he can lean on. And she asked me, she said, hey, I know this is unorthodox or unusual, but will you be his godfather? And that's like an amazing 
honor for someone to ask, oh. and I said yes. Oh. I said yes. If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel. Check your local listings or visit JenniferHudsonShow.com to see when you can watch four episodes in your area. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter.